right, my name is Lauren Angelone. I am the founder and the board director of a nonprofit called Lamb's Place, and our mission is to provide affordable transitional housing for youth that are aging out of the foster care system in a Christ-like environment so that we can come alongside and support their spiritual growth. I have worked with kids that are have been involved in the foster care system for the last nine or ten years, and I just really love this population because it's really exciting to watch them grow and reach their potential and see their hopes and dreams because their hopes and dreams are just like the kids that my kids and I've transitioned into a new position where we're actually working with kids that are aging out of the foster care system and helping them reach um, their goals so one of the things that I noticed is that housing is really um, hard for them that they don't, when they age out of foster care, they're 18, they don't have credit, they don't have limited family that can help support them with housing. So it's difficult for them to get housing as an apartment because they don't have, they're not able to pay the down deposit. Oftentimes they don't have the credit because they're just turned 18. And so I'm excited that the Department of Social Services has made changes in their program in the last couple of years. And so they have an extended foster care program that's from 18 to um, 21. And in that program, as long as they sign what's called a voluntary placement agreement, it will help them with a housing allowance. And so, and through that housing allowance, it's opened up a lot of housing opportunities for them. But again, they don't have credit. They don't, there's a lot of barriers to, their, to them having housing. I think it was January of 2017, I walked out of the third home that a young lady was living in and I just left just feeling very burdened by this because the homes were they, they weren't in a condition that I would want my children to live in and so I just know that they could do better and I really walked away saying God you've got to change this and he said no you got to do it God really connected me with different people to build my team and to build the team that is our board uh, for Lamb's Place they have been incredibly supportive in this project. We also have been connected with the Heart for Eastern NC, and they have just been a great blessing to us as we establish and teaching us how to, what we need to do and connecting us to people in the community. Um, so we're looking really we're looking forward to the opportunity to be able to serve these youth and meet a need of housing because one in five kids that age out of foster care will experience homelessness. Yes, we are in the process of really spearheading our fundraising efforts so that we can get our first home in 2020. And some of the ways that the community can come alongside us is they can definitely reach out to us. We would like to partner with churches and um, have opportunities to share with you know the pastors and the congregation to share our heart, what we're all about so that they can possibly come alongside us and also help mentor these young people. And on that website, there is a donation tab that you can click on and um, you have the option of donating monthly or just a one-time donation. Anything is helpful and we definitely appreciate that. And also, we have partnered with Boys and Bolts um, with Lauren Davenport and she is the one that has created all our fabulous uh, t-shirts and our, and our sweatshirts and the things that um, kind of help our us share who we are through our shirts <laughs> um, and so but yes please go to the boys and bolts website and purchase one of the shirts part of those proceeds come to support the lambs place i think the most challenging part of this project is learning how to become a nonprofit. Uh, I'm very much a visionary person, and so I see the big picture, but having to get the vision um, from my head onto paper has been, it's been a challenge. Um, but I'm excited because we, we've been able to do it. We've been able to get our 501c3, and we, and, but, it's, but it's been because we've had partners like a Heart for Eastern NC and people that have come alongside us and just um, walked through it with us. The most exciting part of this project is knowing that in 2020 we're going to get our first home and that we are going to be able to come alongside young people that are aging out of the foster care system and help give them a sense of stability while they are reaching their goals, while they are becoming that next nurse, becoming that next teacher, the next social worker, the next police officer, all these dreams that they have. 
but not only helping them reach their potential, but coming alongside them and building relationships with them and so that they can have a trusting relationship with an adult so that they can have a trusting relationship with Jesus. We just want to pour into them and make an impact in their life, not only in um, their career, but also in their spiritual life.